Welcome to the Automated Daily, Top News Edition. I'm your host, Trend Teller, and today is the 12th of September, 2023. We've got a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Starting with health news, the Food and Drug Administration has given the green light to two new COVID booster shots from Pfizer, BioNTech, and Moderna. These vaccines are specifically designed to protect against the XBB.1.5 variant, a descendant of Omicron. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention will soon provide guidance on who will be eligible for these shots. The good news is, they should be available within a few days at your local pharmacies, doctor's offices, and public health departments. And don't worry about the cost, they're expected to remain free for most people with insurance. Moving on to weather news, Hurricane Lee, a Category 3 storm, is currently making its way towards Cape Cod in Massachusetts. With winds reaching up to 120 miles per hour, the storm is expected to strengthen and reach the area by next Saturday. Over in Morocco, the village of Moulay Brahim in the High Atlas Mountains was near the epicenter of the country's worst earthquake on record. The quake has claimed 2,862 lives so far, with half of the deaths occurring in the Al Hauz province. The search for survivors continues in more remote villages, with heavy lifting equipment struggling to reach the affected areas. In tech news, Google is set to face a trial to determine if it abused its monopoly in online search. The trial will feature testimony from top tech executives, engineers, economists, and academics. Sundar Pichai, Google's chief executive, is expected to testify. According to a survey by the New York Federal Reserve, American consumers are increasingly worried about access to credit. Nearly 60% of respondents believe that it is harder to get loans, credit cards, and mortgages now compared to a year ago. This is the highest level of concern in the survey's history. In international news, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is set to visit Russia for talks with President Vladimir Putin. The two leaders are expected to discuss military cooperation, including the possibility of North Korea supplying Russia with more weapons for the war in Ukraine. Finally. In financial news, the Bank of Japan's possible shift away from a negative interest rate policy has caused a ripple effect in the Japanese government bond and currency markets. The yen saw its biggest rise in two months and the 10-year JGB yield reached its highest level in almost 10 years. A global poll conducted by the Open Society Foundations reveals that younger people are more likely to doubt the merits of democracy. The study found that 42% of respondents aged 18 to 35 were supportive of military rule, compared to only 20% of older respondents. And that's a wrap for today's top news edition of the Automated Daily. I'm Trend Teller, and I'll be back tomorrow with more news and insights. Stay informed, stay safe, and have a great day.